Hello everybody, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I am Arctic Wolf and this is episode 10. If you remember in our last episode we set up this beautiful steel line down here. Multiple trains going multiple ways, doing multiple things. And it's bringing in tons of cash. And we just unlocked the Klondike which is my favorite steam-powered boat in this game. And we are going to upgrade our Riggy and our Dorana Castle to the Klondike, if, if we can. I think it might just be a passenger boat. Let's check. Oh, passengers and certain types of cargo. And we are taking what? Tools. We can take tools. Okay, so replace with one of them. There we go. And then this one. Also, same situation. He's almost full anyway. He needs to be replaced. I've been waiting for this. There we go. All right, these Klondikes are still in use today up and down the Mississippi River in the United States. They still use them. It's the old casino uh, paddle boats. I have a plan for today's episode. We're gonna get mach that machine shop hooked up with plank. I'm just gonna get into it and I'll see where it takes me. Oh my, we just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. All the new passenger vehicles. It can go 68 or for the train and then all the new cargo that can go 50 and a new passenger bus and a new oil tanker so that was a whole bunch of stuff all at once I think we're gonna turn down our date speed back down to quarterly because that's coming in fast so yeah we unlocked a bunch of stuff while I was surveying the map so what I figured out was we need to run the train for these logs down around this way and then tie it in on this line here next to here and then into another freight platform right there and then we can run from the this unload station over to the dock with another truck line. That'll work just fine. But we'll have to put a through station here for the oil for later so that we can have a station there at least. These logs over here are probably gonna be taken just directly to the dock by a truck. So we'll see how this goes.
the Atlantic. That one is the basis of a kid-friendly television show about choo-choo trains where the main character's name is Thomas. Now when you paint him the right color, it looks just like him. Kinney has become quite a hub, a central little buzzing activity. It's got food and logs and tools going through. It, it, it's got trains, it's got boats, it's got trucks, it's got passengers, it's got cargo, it's got everything. Except electricity. <laughs> We got our machines finally set up to Kansas City. In our next episode, we're going to see what we can do about getting some fuel. Maybe. I think we have some cities that need fuel. Yeah, like Indianapolis wants fuel. We can get food to Tempe. Grand Rapids, Indianapolis, and I believe High Point all want fuel. We got an oil refinery right here. We got a crude oil right there crude oil right there and our oil 
fuel refinery is over here by Grand Rapids. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. We got a fleet of ships sending logs. That is so cool looking. There's a lot of them. I'm not sure if it's going to be too many yet. They're going to space themselves out depending on how far, how fast they come in here. So, we got one coming back, but he went down without picking anything up. I tried to stop them all from doing that, but some of them got by. Okay. I'm going to watch him go there. Oh, look at that. So cool. That's why we do things. Right. Look at that. That is so, so cool. Two point one five million dollars. That's per ship per trip. And there are ten ships on that line. That may just become our most profitable line. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to call it here for an episode. I've been recording for about an hour and a half now. Um if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like my channel and my playlist, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know exactly when my videos come out, hit that bell icon. And with that, have a great day. Arctic Wolf out.